Good morning, everybody. Daily video blog. My name's Elijah. Welcome to 85 Studios, February 21st, 2017. Welcome to the channel. Um, there's not a whole lot going on here today, but something definitely interesting happened yesterday. Um, I showed up to work. Um, not to work, but um, you guys know I work at the convenience store. Um, and basically, I I went to go get these cigars, um, these cigars that I am, they're stupid product place. So I went to um, my job where I work at uh, yesterday um, to go pick up some cigars and uh, basically um, my boss, my store manager was working there um, and another one of the uh, employees, this another one of my co-workers uh, was working there and um, they mentioned 85 Studios. They mentioned the YouTube videos, and I was actually really kind of shocked by that, um, that they would have any interest at all in watching them. Um, but uh, it made me think about something. Um, the entire world is watching YouTube. The entire world can see everything and anything that you put on YouTube. And I got to thinking about it as it could have positive or it could have negative uh, effects on your basic daily life um, as far as your job, um, your co-workers, uh, your friends, your family, and everybody else. And So I got to thinking about uh, yeah just the privacy aspect of everything and the fact that um, when you're doing videos on a daily basis um, and you don't have a whole lot going on and your life is pretty quiet pretty calm pretty you know private um, you're a very private person like me um, I hope this camera is facing me then basically what happens is um, your private life has an, a very easy way of spilling over into your public life and your work life. Um, I hadn't really thought about that a whole lot. I kind of kept it in the back of my mind the entire time as being a YouTuber, um, how it, it could happen. And so I've been very careful of uh, what I say and what I do. I want to be open with uh, my, my faithful, loyal subscribers and supporters um, but there are certain aspects of my private life um, and even certain aspects of my public life that and and like my work life that really uh, I can't disclose to you guys um, I want you guys to trust me and know who I am um, but at the same time there's certain things like um, my address, my phone number, where I work, um, who I work with, things like that, that I cannot uh, divulge. I can't give that information out. And it's because it's, it's too private. There's, there's just too much there, you know, that, that can get, uh, there's too much at stake there in my personal life. Um, and I realize again that uh, if I was a full-time YouTuber and I did nothing but make YouTube videos for a living, then that would be different because that would be your work life. But um, as it is, um, guys, we're only up to 61 wonderful, epic people. Um, and it's unfortunate that we don't have more, but um, as of this point, I'm I'm in it to create a community of people, uh, nice people, kind people, friendly people, people who understand me, people who like what I'm doing on the channel, and that's the only reason why I'm here, guys. That's the only reason why I make videos. Um, mm, itchy mustache. Um, but it's it's very difficult to be open and up upfront with everybody when um, you realize that your co-workers and your boss and everybody else um, 
watch your videos and sometimes I, I mean I, I love my job I mean it's okay I'm, I don't love my job I like my job um, it's okay um, I kind of get frustrated sometimes and sometimes I say things about my job that I don't really mean to say and at the time I would say that you know I think that they're as true as can be but um, I've never said anything on YouTube about my job or my co-workers or my boss or the way that uh, any of this is because in the back of my mind I've always known that every video is public and every video can be seen by my co-workers, my boss, the owners of the convenience store um, everybody um, basically anybody anybody who wants to see it and they know the name of the YouTube channel all they'd have to do is look it up um, when this started out um, my original account uh, Red Yoshi 1985 um, it was basically, uh, it was in 2005, and it was after I moved to Colorado, and I was out there for five years, and um, after the first year getting settled, I went ahead and I went into college, and went ahead and uh, started my degree, and uh, I, I was missing my family very much, and we didn't have Skype, uh, or like uh, Facebook chat, or FaceTime, or any of that stuff back then. We didn't have smartphones. We had phones, but we didn't have smartphones. So, in order to get a video, um, so that my mom and my brothers could see how I was doing, um, I was using my YouTube channel and posting videos as private, um, so that um, are not private, um, unlisted videos, so that my family could see them and talk to me and and kind of kind of like what we're doing right now uh, basically like a daily hey how you doing check up you know that kind of thing and it worked for that for a while I mean it's not like a real conversation where you can talk back to the person or anything like that and they, there was no live feature on YouTube in fact Google hadn't even taken over YouTube yet um, but then uh, I started wanting to get into like cinematic stuff and then um, I started wanting to get into music and recording and singing and um, you know playing my musical instruments and play guitars and drums and that kind of stuff so I started doing that more um, but mostly for my family I, I really had some stage fright back then I, I didn't want to put any videos really public um, there's very few videos that are actually public um, on that channel yet there's 43 subscribers on that channel which is interesting um so basically um this channel is a branch off of that channel um 85 studios um from red yoshi 1985 and it's all me always been me i'm just a guy with a camera and you know now it's more or less I'm trying to focus on community and make new friends and build up a channel um, just to be entertaining you know and other than that so here's the thing um, life is life is very short I don't know if you guys all realize just how short life actually is life is fragile Life is delicate, life is short, and you never know what can happen. Um, you could be walking down the street one day, and a car, God forbid, a car could jump up on the curb and hit you, and you can die, or you can be severely injured, or you can be to the point where you end up in the hospital and then die or something like that you know horrible things can happen you can get in a car accident you can die from that you can get shot you can get stabbed you can, god forbid life is very delicate very fragile and then the other thing is we don't have a whole lot of time and with me having an illness like I have I 
suspect that my time might not be um, extremely long on this earth either. So basically, um, I don't know how long I have. Um, they say that the lifespan on average of a man is around 71 years. I'm 31 years old, I'll be 32 in September, and I, I really don't know how long um, I'm going to last on this earth. And it would be kind of nice, I think, for my family and my friends, once I'm gone, to be able to look back on these videos and kind of see um, what I was doing and, you know, maybe not miss me quite as much, you know? I mean, it's not like they would not miss me looking at these videos, but maybe it would kind of ease their pain a little bit. And, you know, like my brothers and my mom, my sister, my friends, they, they all love me. And I know what that's like. I've lost friends. I've lost a lot of friends um, for various reasons. And, uh, I have nothing to remember them by. I have no photos. I have no videos. They didn't have YouTube channels. Um, so that's just the whole thing. I mean, that's, that's the most of it, but it's mostly making memories, you know? But life is a series of moments, and we live life moment by moment. And hopefully, the next moment is not your last moment. And there will be a, a lot of good moments to come. And, you know, you can leave some kind of a legacy or some kind of a memoir. Something to remember you by. Um, so... I mean, basically, it's 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 about that. It's about fam family. It's about friends. It's about making new friends. It's about gaining a following and and making a community. Um, and you know, it it's just something I've always wanted to do. And to entertain and not feel so lonely. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I feel so incredibly lonely, alone in this world, all the time. But when I'm talking to you guys, I'm actually talking to the camera, but when I'm talking to you guys, it somehow helps me to feel like I'm not so alone. And it also, it seems like talking about things like problems and, and solutions and what's going on in my life um, tends to kind of help uh, me to de-stress and not feel so bad all the time. Um, and then I can have these positive moments as opposed to all of these moments that could be positive, but because my mind is all the way over here in the left side um, facing southward I can't enjoy them um, I don't know if you got my analogy there but depressed and stressed out and anxious and, and sad and lonely all the time even though I have friends even though I have family it's just, it's like, I love them dearly with all of my heart, but it's, it's like the gravity of life has a tendency to get me down overall. And I try to focus on the positive aspects of things rather than the negative, but sometimes the negativity just kind of tries to creep its way in and once it gets into my thoughts it's just a nightmare mess to try to get it out <sighs> so talking to you guys really helps um, 
with a lot of that. And then I feel better after I make a, a video, a daily vlog, or what have you. But like yesterday, um, things just got really busy and I didn't have time, you know, so I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And like tonight, I work, so I'm gonna put this video up, edit this video and put this video up, go and um, set things up um, as far as, uh, um, um, put it up on, on YouTube and all that. Sorry, I'm kind of tired still. I just woke up. Uh, and then probably get some sleep, you know? So, anyway, I hope that what I'm doing and saying is making sense to whoever is watching it and whoever watches these videos in the future and I hope that maybe you guys can kind of get an understanding of me and why I do a lot of the things that I do and why I kind of feel the way I feel about certain things and I don't know it's 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 like it's like there's a lot of personal things that can't be talked about but there's a lot of personal things that can be talked about that should be talked about and I don't want to go overboard and I don't want to bore anybody to death and I don't want to get too personal so it's kind of in my mind it's it's like you're you're walking on a ruler that's on its side you know and you don't want to slip off of that because there's a thousand foot cliff below you and then you'll die because you don't have a parachute or whatever I'm rambling but you want to be open and honest it's really hard to do anyway guys um enough of my rambling this is a daily vlog, um, sometimes I release more than one video a day, as you guys saw a couple days ago, sometimes I don't release a video at all, I try to release, I'm trying to release one every day here, um, if, uh, if nothing happens, or if something happens, um, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, um, facebook.com slash 85studios1 is my Facebook page, um, on Twitter it is at 85studios, all one word. And be sure to hit like, uh, leave me a comment if you kind of get what I'm saying, or if I'm, if I'm just rambling, or whatever. Um, and uh, thank you all so much for your support and your comments. I wanted to uh, mention something also. Um, on the video where um, I was explaining about the, uh, about the um, insulin and that kind of stuff, um, there was one comment, and it was actually a really nice comment from a guy um, that I don't really know. Um, he's a new subscriber. Um, his name is Brit Cuban. I hope I'm saying that right, uh, with a K. Brit Cuban. Keep your chin up, bud. It'll all work out. And that was very kind of you. And that was very supportive and... I really appreciate that you you know you were you were kind and supportive and you left a comment at all. I mean, he's the only one that commented. So, big shout out to you and anybody else um if you want to be part of the community and be epic, this is this is this is what we're here for. This is what I'm here for to make friends and you know kind of you know, try to leave some kind of a memoir or a legacy or what have you for my family and my friends and all that because we don't live forever. Life is fragile, life is precious, and life is very delicate. You know, I don't think anybody here thinks truly that they're invincible 
I'm sure a lot of people wish they were. I wish I was. It'd be nice. But I mean, developing diabetes at age 21 was a big wake-up call. Um, I didn't really do anything to deserve it, I don't think. But uh, I just, I used to think, you know, oh, you know, life's, life's not, not all that. You know, I can do just about anything I want to do, and it won't hurt me, and I can live through it, and it'll be fine. Well, developing this disease where I now have to take medicine every day or else I will literally die has kind of opened my eyes to the fact that life really is precious and delicate, and you really cannot take advantage of anything. You can't take advantage of a single moment because... The next moment could be your last moment. Hopefully not. Hopefully you have a lot more moments that are positive to look forward to in your life. Time spent with friends, family, you know, happy times. But you just never know. Tomorrow's not promised, guys. So, make the most of it. And leave a legacy. Hopefully a positive one. Try to always be good. Try to always be kind to everybody. Try to be nice to people. The best you can. Doesn't matter what mood you're in or how you're feeling. Try to be nice. Try to be friendly. Try to be kind. Because you never know what kind of day the other person's having. And you never know how long they have. Especially your friends and family. Try to always leave them on a positive note. Because you never know. The last thing that you say to them could be positive and great and words of wisdom and love and kindness and happy words. Or they could be words of hate that cause pain and sorrow and hurt and harm. And you never know if you're going to see them again. Tomorrow's not promised. You live for today. Live for the moment. Life's a series of moments. Try to be happy. And most importantly, try to make other people happy with you. It's not very difficult, guys. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your friendship. And a big shout out to, uh, I got spots on my eyes, Brit Cuban. Brit Cuban. Thank you so much for your comment on the last video. You all have a great day. Please hit like. Subscribe, share this video with your friends, and click the bell so that you can get notifications when new videos arrive. Again, thank you so much, and peace out, guys.